Let's talk about market. Great, a pleasure. David. Let's talk about market performance today. And certainly, uh, what we're seeing is more supply than demand. What's your take? Yeah, actually, yeah, the the market uh, declined a little bit today, uh, coming down by about 0.05 percent. And looking at the uh, daily official list, you appropriately observe that uh, we're having more losers now than gainers, in which case the market is uh, inundated with huge supply, which the demand is uh, unable to mop up now. It's not unusual, really, that at this time of the year, the trend generally is that the market declines gradually. But I sense the fact that market makers uh, are actually intervening and uh, performing their duty uh, creditably well. Today, notwithstanding the fact that uh, Guinness appreciated by a whopping nine naira, uh, Nigerian breweries also appreciated, and those are high cap stocks that ordinarily should lift the market upwards. But because of the sheer number of uh, uh, securities that declined, uh, those two uh, upward movements could not save the market from declining today. Mm, and David, I mean, I'm curious about investor sentiment. This morning we talked about the fact that investors seem to have taken positions already and are sitting back. I mean, but is this the take? Is, is this your take? Is this what you're seeing, David? Yes, apparently a lot of uh, retail investors may have started the process of uh, exiting their positions for various reasons, perhaps uh, uh, mopping up uh, funds from all sources to financing the festivals that will occur at the end of the year. Some may even be putting uh, funds together now with a view to paying uh, fees for their awards at the beginning of uh, next year. But let's look at it uh, critically. Now there is no price sensitive information to actually drive uh, the, the demand in the market. And so we are actually having more compelling reasons uh, for more supply in the market. And so it's not surprising that uh, around this period we're having a market that is a little bit uh, uh, weak. Mm. You know? So that, that, is, that is the reality on ground. Right, David. I mean, before we go into sector performance, let's let's just note that, I mean, we saw the bond market actually seeing some activity today. Uh, it looks like the federal government bond uh, to, with a 2015 maturity uh, went up about 35 cobo. How is this market performing? And certainly not only the federal government uh, bond section, but also uh, the corporate bond. No, that uh, actually is uh, the exciting uh, scenario in the in the capital market right now because the fixed income platform on the Nigerian Stock Exchange, uh, at least at the secondary market level, has been dormant for quite a while and is being a cause for serious concern to market operators and all stakeholders because um, progressively the market has uh, more or less turned into a monoproduct uh, platform. And so the initiatives uh, that um, uh, being undertaken by authorities of the Nigerian Stock Exchange to uh, deepen the market by reactivating the, the bond sector. Uh, already uh, the derivative sector has uh, been kick-started with the ETF uh, actively traded. is uh, a welcome development. And so with uh, transactions in the secondary market for federal government bonds now occurring, I think it's a welcome development because it will help to deepen the market and balance the market out as uh, in a seamless manner assets can now flow from equities into bonds right on the platform of the market you know so that the, the reactivation process has okay. started I think investors out there now need to be aware that they can buy and sell uh, they are holdings in sovereign and even corporate bonds on the platform of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Right. And so progressively, and I hope the market will build on this as we move into a new year, such that this platform of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, which has a world-class uh, 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 platform, so to say, for right. trading in bonds, 
will become uh, a center for trading okay. both in bonds, equities, certainly. I mean, certainly, and derivatives. Certainly, David, I mean, we, we'll be watch, uh, next year we'll be watching to see what new products. Uh, also, we're going to see the NSC uh, uh, bringing in. But um, let's check in on sector performance before we round up our interview, David. And I mean, one sector that I'm watching closely is the insurance sector. I mean, we had some results come out of that sector today. Mutual benefits, assurance release, not so good results. What's your take on the performance of that sector last week? And not only last week, but this year so far. Yes, uh, the insurance sector has um, progressively been um, uh, recovering from the damage most of them suffered uh, as a result of the global meltdown and their overexposure to uh, equities. Right. Uh, we have uh, very strong securities uh, now emerging from that sector like ICO, uh, Mansard, Continental Insurance, Custodian, and Allied. So certainly the outlook for others. the sector is good but then, I mean, with strong uh, uh, strong insurance companies like this. Yes. But however, today we got the, the result, the third quarter earnings for mutual benefit. It was a decline anyway, about uh, 500 and uh, something million naira when compared to almost 800 million naira that uh, was achieved at the same period last year. So for mutual benefit, it's a little disappointing. But for the insurance uh, sector in, uh, as a whole, I think that sector is now recovering and uh, opportunities have started emerging uh, in that sector, which investors can tap into right. moving forward.